The challenge is how do we get carbon back from the atmosphere into those soils, into these stable humates and globulin, the stable soil carbon forms. And it can be done very productively, very profitably through soil carbon farming. Because there's so much heat and moisture, um, all the carbon gets chewed up really quickly in the soil so you can't grow carbon. There's a conventional wisdom that, that would say that. It would say that where it's too hot and wet you can't build your carbon in your soil. I mean we've always been sceptical about, uh, about different things, different ways of farming and whatever and, and probably the biggest thing here is like our carbon levels, like we got none. They're terrible so to speak. In the last three to four years the carbon level has been steadily increasing and really in the only the last two years yeah, we're getting 0.3 to 0.4 increases on a yearly basis now, and it's almost up to 1% carbon, which is still pretty average by any means, but when you come from like 0.1 or 0.2 in your soil, virtually none, up to 0.9 to 1% in a matter of three to four years, it's very encouraging for us to know that this stuff does really work. Yeah, one of, the, one of the things that we have noticed, uh, especially with our vine crops, like the pumpkins and stuff like that, um, we seem to be getting really good plant vigour, really high bush, um, with that 30 to 38 per cent cut in nitrogen. So, yeah, it's, it, it's amazing uh, like that. We didn't think that that sort of thing would happen with biology, but it certainly does. Like, it's proved to us that, yeah, no, we're getting good growth in that and our yields are maintaining, so it's, um, no, it's all win-win. First of all, fix, fix the soil health, and then, um, and then the wealth will follow. And that's, that's where carbon fits into the cycle. Um, you can trade it now, and so on, but the, uh, the, 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 the real trick is, is, the, is the health, is the wealth of the soil.